Last week, Mark Zuckerberg shocked the tech world by putting a freeze on AI hiring at Meta just weeks after spending billions poaching top talent from competitors like OpenAI. And now, Silicon Valley is buzzing about what some are calling the AI bubble. Why? Because a new MIT study revealed something jaw-dropping. 95% of AI projects fail. Yeah, you heard that right, 95%. So today, we're asking the big question. Is the AI hype train about to crash? Stick around, because what I'm about to show you could change how you think about AI completely. Now, I've been using AI coding tools since day one. And let me tell you, I actually hate writing code. I love building software, but the code itself? Just a means to an end. After years of using AI to write code, I don't feel like a 10x developer. Honestly, sometimes I feel like a 2x developer and other times more like a 0.5x. And apparently, I'm not alone. That MIT study looked at 300 public deployments, interviewed 150 leaders, and surveyed over 350 employees. We're talking about 30 to 40 billion invested in generative AI. And yet, 95% of those projects failed to drive real business results. Most saw no measurable impact on revenue. One interesting finding? Companies that built their own AI tools had much higher failure rates. Why? Because instead of paying for an existing AI solution, they built worse versions themselves. Meanwhile, the companies that invested in third-party tools actually did a little better. So yeah, right now might be the perfect time to be selling AI shovels in this gold rush. But not everyone failed. Take Ignite, for example. Back in 2023, their CEO fired 80% of developers and replaced them with AI. Two years later, he's bragging about 75% profit margins with zero regrets. So what's the real takeaway? According to MIT, it's not that AI models aren't smart enough. It's that humans just don't know how to use them properly. In other words, skill issue. Success with AI depends less on the technology itself and more on how it's applied. Studies show that most failures come from poor integration, lack of clear goals, and weak workflows. On the other hand, the few success stories highlight a pattern. Companies that invested in proper training, aligned AI with real business needs, and started with small, measurable projects saw lasting results. The key takeaway is that simple AI is not a shortcut to instant success. It's a tool. And like any tool, its impact depends on the skill and strategy of the people using it.